We're headed out to an interstate and we're going to do some merging. This is an interstate where the traffic is going 70 miles an hour, 65 to 70. And sometimes when you enter an on-ramp, you're going 30, 40 miles an hour. But other times you might be entering the roadway from almost a dead stop. In this case, I'm going about 25 miles an hour. First thing you need to do is put on your left turn signal, alert the traffic that you're coming, accelerate, find a spot, and to do that, use your mirrors, use your body position. I've got a wide open spot here right now, and enter the roadway. Now that one was easy. This is a time of day when the traffic is light. It's about 9.30 in the morning. If you're going to be practicing this, it's a good idea to find a time of day when the road's not that busy. That way you can work on your skills under less stress, you can build up your confidence, and it's going to make it easier as you learn to safely and comfortably merge. Here we go again, we're going to enter the same interstate, and the on-ramp speed here is 25 miles an hour. So. You need to accelerate up to the speed limit of the road you're entering or the rate of the traffic. So after I get around this corner, got my signal on, I'm going to have to really accelerate. Sometimes you have to put the pedal down to get up to the rate of speed of the traffic. And I can see from my mirrors, I'm looking over my shoulder, that I've got a big opening. So I can get up to highway speeds pretty quick. But when you're merging, you go through the same procedures as you would if you were just changing lanes. You put on your signal, you check your mirrors, you can do a head check over your shoulder. Be sure the opening is there and it's sufficient for your vehicle. And then make your entry. And remember the word SAFE. The letters stand for signal, accelerate, find your spot, and enter the roadway. So we're on a slow ramp here. About to enter the interstate. Can't go very fast here, but it's starting to straighten out. So it's time to signal and accelerate. Check for gaps. There's a little wall there dividing our on ramp and the acceleration lane. So using my mirrors, looking over my shoulder, I can see that I've got a gap there. Keep checking your mirrors in case something changes, but I've got a good gap there. I'm accelerated, I'm up to 70, and I'm in the roadway. So I'm not having too much trouble today merging. I've found some pretty big gaps, and that's made it easy to get up to highway speed and just move right over into my spot. Of course, that's not always the case. Sometimes traffic is heavy, and you've got to maneuver a little more to find a spot. Now you've got some tools that help with that. You've got your accelerator, your brake pedal, your mirrors. The acceleration ramp is actually the last part of the on-ramp where you really need to accelerate up to highway speed. It's usually a little bit straighter. But if you're on the on-ramp or the acceleration ramp, you see a spot that's coming, but there's vehicles behind it, you might need to use your accelerator to speed up so you can match your vehicle and time it so that you can enter right at that gap. But if you see one behind the line of trucks or cars, then ease off the accelerator or even apply the brakes slightly to slow down so you can fit into that gap when it comes up. Always use your mirrors when you're going to enter a roadway. They can tell you a lot. You can see what's behind you, beside you. And when it comes to mirrors, you can also adjust your body position to see more with those mirrors. Like if I lean forward a little bit and to the left, I can see a little more straight behind me with that mirror. So body position is a tool too. Don't feel like you're frozen in place behind this wheel. And to that word safe, I might also add an R on the end, and that's for respect. If you're driving on the interstate, and you see vehicles approaching from the on-ramp, then respect them and pull over if you can into another lane to make a gap for them. You could even speed up a little or slow down a little if that helps, but you can help them out. It's basically the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. As soon as you can when you're on the on-ramp or acceleration lane, turn on that signal. That's your way of communicating with the traffic that you're going to enter the roadway it gets their attention and that gives them a chance to let you in. 
So we're going from a dead stop this time, basically, onto a 70 mile an hour speed roadway. My left turn signal's on, I'm accelerating, I'm checking for gaps. It doesn't look too difficult, I see a gap coming. There's a vehicle there. He actually moved over a little bit, which was great. And now I can enter the roadway and I'm at 70 miles an hour. So that was a courteous driver. That driver there actually changed lanes, so he opened the lane for me. I'm stopped again, so I'm going from a total standstill up to 70 miles an hour. I turn my signal on, already checking the roadway. Several trucks coming here in a row, but I think I can get in behind this set of ABF doubles on this truck. I can accelerate. There's a car there. Couldn't see him for the block. But if I slow down a little bit, that makes room for me. I can see that in my mirrors. And that was an easy transition, really. And because of the speed of the traffic, I actually only entered the roadway at 60 miles an hour. But for whatever reason right now, that's the speed of the traffic. So you have to adjust your speed to whatever it takes. We're going to enter again. Signals on. I see some vehicles coming. Big motor home there. Checking my mirrors. There's a gap right behind this RV and this car that he's pulling. I'm going to ease over there. And again, traffic is only going about 60 miles an hour right now through here. So don't have it in your head that I've got to get up to 70 miles an hour if that's the speed of the roadway. It's the speed of the roadway or the speed of the traffic that you have to match the speed of your vehicle with. This is the same ramp as before, just 25 miles an hour. So I can't do much about accelerating right now on this part of the on-ramp. But when it straightens out and runs alongside of the main roadway, that's the acceleration ramp, that's when you have to take off. Luckily there's a kind of a long acceleration ramp I've got plenty of room. Sometimes if you're getting to the very end of the acceleration ramp, you might have to really floor it to hit your gap. It's just a case of being flexible, and that's what practice will teach you. I would advise entering the roadway as soon as possible. Don't wait till the very end of the acceleration ramp if you don't have to. Find your gap and speed up or slow down and enter the roadway before you get near the end of that acceleration ramp. This makes it a lot simpler and less stressful for you. If at all possible, never come to a total stop on an acceleration lane. That just causes problems for you and any traffic that might be behind you. And I'm not going to say that there's never a time when you might have to stop. That's possible, but very rare and to be avoided. But if you have to stop because of just a solid line of traffic that you can't get over, pull as far over to the right as possible. And then don't try to enter the roadway until you see a large gap with plenty of time for you to accelerate. Because you'll be going from zero miles an hour into a roadway where everybody's going to be going 70. But if you practice merging, you do the procedures right, you find your gap, speed up or slow down as necessary, then you won't have to worry about ever stopping on an acceleration lane. So let's go over those steps again. The word to remember is safe. Signal. Do that as soon as possible after you enter the on-ramp. A is accelerate. Your target speed is the speed limit of the roadway you're entering or the speed of the traffic that you're entering. F is find your spot. Find that spot that your vehicle will fit in. E Make your entry into the roadway when it's safe to do so. You can also add an R onto the end and make it safer, meaning show respect to the other drivers that are attempting to merge onto the roadway that you're already on. Thanks for watching, have a great day, happy merging, and drive safe. Time to get off again. I've been going around in circles today.